here from Mark's Reviews and Tutorials and I'm going to give you a little video today about um, some preventative maintenance. Um, I really believe in preventative maintenance. I think it's an absolute necessity. Um, we can save ourselves so much money and so much effort if we take a little bit of time and uh, fix things when we first notice them. Maybe it's that lock that gets a bit stiff um, or, you know, in this case, it's a hot water service. And I've noticed here, if you look right in there, you see that drip? This has just developed a drip around that thread. Now, it's just a little screwdriver thread in there, and I'm assuming it's just going to screw out and be some Teflon tape on that fitting. Um, I don't even know why that um, is in place there, this little thing with its flow gauge and all the rest of it. Um, but I'll have, have a look at the video here. You'll see this um, hot water service has destroyed itself before. Absolutely destroyed this motor. It all got corroded and rusted out um, because this leaked. It got too hot and it leaked and um, destroyed the whole thing. It was a huge expense to replace it. There's also a control box in here that got replaced as well. So, you know, most of you would walk past and not even see that. But I noticed on the plumbing, uh, that little drip and it's going to corrode things and it's right over the top of the motor so rather than having the whole thing repeat itself I've decided to do a little bit of preventative maintenance and um, fix that so we're going to pull it apart and uh, see if I can't seal that little leak now a lot of people look at it and go oh, whatever it's just a drip but uh, the thing is um, water is very corrosive and it's most likely going to destroy this if it's left so it's very very simple because it's right up against that box, I can't just pull it out. So I've got to take the box off. So we'll start there. Because it's part of the domestic water system, obviously I've got to be able to turn the water off. Now that's easy here, because this is where the water comes in um, from the source, running to the hot water service, up through the bypass valve there, which is that guy, and uh, down into the hot water service there. So I can turn the pressure off from the water there. And this is the solar pump system. So I can actually just follow that uh, power line along and I can turn off the solar as well. So I can power the whole thing down, turning off the solar pump and turning off the water pressure and hopefully just pull that out easily and um, get it done. But let's have a look. You may not have a drill, but uh, hopefully you'll have yourself a screwdriver so that you can do this sort of thing. Not complicated. There we go. There's the box off. And uh, we can also, while we're in here, check everything else to make sure that there's no other sources of water leaking. This is where the water comes in um, to the hot water service here. This is where the cold water comes in. Uh, these fittings here, if we come up. Uh, the uh, here is um, the ins and outs of the uh, solar system right here. So the water that's feeding, that's actually running now. See, it's got tank on it here. Um, that's actually running now. I can feel that. The motor's beautifully silent, but um, I can feel that that's actually running. Um, and here's the little solar controller. It's in the other video that I pointed to anyway. Um, that turns this off and on so it um, heats whenever there's potential to. So the good news is that there's no corrosion on the motor yet um, but you can clearly see that drip there so I'm going to pull that out and um, get it done. So very simply turning that off that kills that and then we're going to turn this tap down here which is the supply water. You see it's started to leak like a sieve has started as soon as I've turned it but that's probably just because the o-ring is very very dry let's see we'll open that up close it down we will find out whether or not that's actually turning the water off if it's not we might have to go and turn it off at the front of the house as well come here and have a look um, this is actually on and running you can't hear it but i can feel it um, i can feel that it's running if we close that You'll see the flow stops, that spring comes down, that little yellow thing comes down. And if I open it up, then the flow gets going. There's, there is a bit of sun around. If you look up there, 
you'll see up on the roofs there's some sun and that's obviously hitting my solar panels on the other side the um, solar panel that heats the water is my neighbor's house um, that's his hot water solar panel there and his is in the sun as well so even though it's cold down this side of the house where the solar panel is um, is obviously getting some temperature and warming you can see these insulated ones here that that's runs up and back from the solar panel so we can tell yeah that's that's above lukewarm it's not great we're mid winter here at the moment um, yeah but that's going out really icy cold and coming back quite a bit warmer so it is doing its job and also that little screw is now not leaking so I'm gonna leave it like that I won't play with any, any I won't play with it anymore um, we'll just see if that little bit of movement just backwards and forwards is enough to lubricate up the o-ring and also this has stopped leaking so hopefully that doesn't need to be pulled apart and serviced um, but I will monitor them both to see how it goes so put the cover back on and that was simple all we did was um, turn that thread around to um, give the o-ring or whatever type of seal it has back there um, a bit of movement a bit of lubrication and uh, we'll see how we go so just make sure that you uh, turn your water back on and switch the um, two switches back on for the gas instantaneous and for the solar and uh, then you'll all be in business and I will be checking both those to see if there's any further leaks but uh, when I turn the water back on it was all looking sweet